midline, the nape of the neck, you palpate, you will find there's this, you know, you keep palpating the median plane, you will reach to a bony prominence. And that bony prominence is really an important bony prominence. And that is because of the vertebrae prominence. The most prominent, the most prominent vertebrae out of those 33 vertebrae on the back we palpate is that of C7. So C7 is also called vertebra prominence because its spinous process is nearly horizontal and is more projecting backwards. So you can easily palpate C7. And the hallmark point for identifying the counting down the spinous process is one that is at the root of this scapula is T3 or you can start palpating from here because it's 8th rib and it will be the you know 9th thoracic vertebrae here. From here also you can keep counting down now or from the costal margin. If you reach to the costal margin you can find out the T12 spinous process. And one another thing is like remember there is one important clinical uh, procedure that is done on the back and that is a spinal anesthesia or lumbar puncture. So what for that what you do is you palpate upon this eyelid crest. When you palpate upon this eyelid crest, you palpate it and you reach it here in the medial side. So what you do is now, what you do is when you palpate the eyelid crest, you keep your little fingers here in the eyelid crest, right? And you reach with the thumb in the medial plane like this. In a living subject, right? Keeping your fingers, the little fingers here in the eyelid crest and reaching with the thumb in the middle plane. So when you're reaching and palpating this spinous process, this vertebrae actually which you palpate with the thumb in a horizontal plane of this highest point of the eyelid crest. This what you are making a horizontal plane is the highest point of the eyelid crest. So with the thumb what you palpate down here is the fourth lumbar vertebrae. So remember the transverse plane passing through the highest point of the eyelid crest reaches crosses the L4 vertebrae. And lumbar puncture is done at which vertebral level? Between L3 and L4. So, when you reach to this fourth lumbar vertebrae, a little above to that, a little above to that, will be the third spinous process of the third lumbar vertebrae. And in between, in a living subject, you can ask him to bend down more. So, when you, you find is a gap, depression between the two vertebrae. And that is the intervertebral region between L3 and L4. So that is the side that you can go for spinal anesthesia or for lumbar puncture.